Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Asi Only Blue, and today we're gonna do a little bit something different. Today we're gonna do a guide on customs. I'm gonna tell you the ins and outs, and I'm gonna tell you the theory that I created when it comes to uh, spawn points and how to slowly, slowly learn to survive more in customs based on the theory that I created. I think understanding my theory, it will help you every single time to survive on customs. I have a very high uh, rate on surviving in customs and I personally, that's how I make my money. Everyone it says it's a map knowledge and that is correct. I've been playing the game for over a month and I did like a lot of matches on customs and it took me for a while to figure it out where do people move on what times where do people spawn and what to expect once you get to a point where you know what to expect that's where it's up to you and your skills your fighting skills to survive uh, or evade depends of what style you want to play this theory Again, it's my personal theory. I do not have anything to bug it up. I don't have proofs. I don't have like little clips and stuff like that, at least yet, un unless you guys want me to create um, a hypothesis or dig around my clips and find scenarios and different uh, things that happen uh, at, at the start of the round and just so I can prove my theory. But let's say, take my words i want to make sure that you guys understand it's a theory it's not a hundred percent okay it's a theory so if i am correct i want you guys to let me know i want you guys to jump after the video okay into the game and depends on the spawn point that you're gonna spawn you're gonna go to the point on the video where i'm talking about that specific spawn point you follow my directions and if i am wrong come to the video and say you fucking idiot you are wrong okay so let's begin with the theory when you go and select customs it says 7 to 12 people for me that is not true or it is true but not a hundred percent true people believe that this is people and i will say no those informations give you a little bit more specific than just the number. Oh, it's 12. The number 7 represents the how many teams potentially the map can, can have. And the dash 12 is how many in total players of those 7 groups can have. Knowing that there is, that's the theory, there is 7 groups, one is you and there is another one no matter what the sizes of the other groups which it doesn't matter because everyone always moves together so expectations is knowing that there is another six groups somewhere on the map all right let's begin with the theory that's the uh, that's like the beginning understand that there is seven groups in total I'm going to divide this into three parts, which is the one is the crossroad part that you see over here. The second one, it's the mountain side, which is the north part of the map. And the third group is all the way down here. And how do you divide this? Through my experience, there is three groups that they spawn always over here. There is three groups that they spawn over here always. And there is only one that spawns up here. All right. Does that make a little bit sense? that's the testing number one test it yourself and if you see like more than one group uh, uh, up here prove me uh, a liar if you see more than four groups over here prove me a liar same with this over here so if you spawn over here that means there's another two groups around here in, and one you're the third one your, your party is the third one all right let's go a little bit more specific how one divided the each individual sites let's say the crossroad site is um this is the ditch uh -huh, uh -huh. i'm not gonna be 100 percent specific because i'm not 100 percent sure but uh you have this as a one group you have i believe this as another group 
and then the third one is kind of like this one it's not 100 percent accurate the groups can be like this like this and like this but what matters is there is at least three groups over there right so same goes with the other side i believe the groups go over here like this those two together those two together and there is the chance for these two to be together um it's a little bit of a weird one but i think that's how it goes and obviously you have the top one which is you can spawn on any of these that's the theory again so if you spawn up in the mountains let's, let's begin with the mountains if you spawn over here wait i should say let's let's talk about expectations where you spawn and what do you expect so if you spawn over here obviously you're gonna take down to the dorms or you're gonna go down to the gas station the mountain is yours for at least the first five minutes or maybe four so you can do whatever you want the expectations is no one's gonna rush you this way you are free no one's gonna do that uh, because whoever spawns down here remember this one this one this one gets cancelled because you spawn over there so all of this is yours that's the expectations so there's the chance of the north guy to take off and go to the to the dorms or if he's too scared he's gonna maybe go to the gas station but if he's too too scared again he's gonna loot this he's gonna move up he's gonna loot this he's gonna go down to the trash loot that and continue going down so it's gonna take him a 15 minutes or so to see him so if you are one of the lucky ones that you spawn up in the mountains you have a rough idea what to expect expect people at some point passing these little openings all right and listen use your audio always if you hear a gas station fight bam 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 there's a lot of fighting a lot of gunshots what do you expect the scenario to be create something in your mind that means one of the three groups from over here moved to the gas station and is fighting Rashala or the scabs so leaving us with another group over here and another group over here that they didn't fight it the third group being over here and fighting will attract both of the parties and there is a high chance for these two to have a one elimination so you been up there you look at the gas station and you try to to kind of in a way snipe the players that they are down there don't spend too much time sniping is boring and is yikes check use your audio and move accordingly towards here or avoid them going that way okay I, I was never wrong with that one there is always when i hear something over here i come over here i pick this hole over here and i always see players coming out to go to the gas station always leaving these people over here kind of like looting the gas station taking off evading bye bye you know it's pretty nice so now you know all of this what you do um yeah if you spawn over here you come over here you go trash you come here you loot all of this you loot all of this you this you take it the way around you evade everything you don't want to be on the fight I'm, I'm guessing because you are a, a pleb like myself and you want to make some money all right we are focusing on making money and uh, picking fights that we know 100 percent we're gonna win so in this occasion don't go to the domes go over here there's loot over there there's loot over here down here past this go here expect people around here right evade them go around 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 uh, I fucked it up. Go here, 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 and off you go. Okay. That's, uh, uh, that took it took me too long to explain this one. Same with this one. You're gonna loot this. You're gonna go down there. You're gonna follow the same pathway, right? And you're gonna leave. Um. Same with the military. You're gonna loot the trashes. You're gonna come down here. I'm going a, a very very fast. You're gonna loot whatever is here. The train gonna go to the old gas station and you always gonna be looking forward on all of those four scenarios remember these guys okay on all these three scenarios always look just forward the groups are over here not here okay if you hear someone over there that means there is one over here there is another two over here all right 
Just keep looking down. Forward, not backwards. Don't worry, don't panic. I got you. If you spawn over here, you're gonna loot all of that over there. You're gonna come over here. And before you peek over here, expect someone to be around this area. Okay? That is your expectations. Expect people to be on your right. Not as much over here though. You are not gonna really see them over here. You are more gonna see them this way. Because they are trying to figure it out. Who is gonna fight who over here. Um... And you're gonna do the same, you're gonna uh, 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 take off, take off, take off, you're gonna loot this, you're gonna go here, you're gonna go crossroads, you are off to go, alright? Hopefully I'm not going too fast, next one, or too slow. Um, one spawns over here, so if you spawn on any of these, you're gonna loot this, you're gonna loot the repair shop, you're gonna loot the, the smoke shark, you're gonna loot this, and you're gonna follow the same drill, depends on the audio, if you hear a lot of gunshots, and you feel a little bit cocky, you take your group, you go through the passage, or you come up here to the boilers, and you shoot the other people, and uh, see who is gonna who uh, who is gonna stay alive in the group, the three groups that they are around. Remember, there is three groups: you and another two. Use your audio again. Listen, did they go gas station? Usually, they go gas station, and it's you and these people. Just just FYI, that's the idea. Um, covered all of this. Moving to this one. If you spawned on any of these, obviously you're gonna loot the container. You're gonna loot the storage building. You're gonna move towards the gas station. Loot the gas station, and you're gonna evade. You you you, you don't really fight this, right? Um, remember that uh, if you spawn inside the building, there is the chance that you may see someone this way or hear some kabooms, kabooms scuffs and so on and so on so you know um that when you spawn over here you know 100 percent everyone is on your right right you pick outside everyone is on your right if you hear gunshots you know let them fight it it's two groups you're gonna have one elimination it's gonna be alone you can take off bye bye see you or you can join them after you loot the gas station to see what the hell is going on over here sorry you can't go there you have to go here um Done with all of this. Hopefully, that's uh, you, you got the rough idea, okay, of that one. Again, I'm going a little bit fast, giving you a theory, giving you an idea. I want you to test it. I want me. I want you to tell me. I went up in the mountains. I looted. I looted this over here. I came over here, and within like three minutes, I saw someone in this hall or the gun station, uh, the gas station. All right. Um. Let's go to the left one. Um, did we? I think we mentioned it, but I'm gonna go again a little bit, uh, a little bit fast on that one as well. You spawn over here. You're gonna loot the storages, and then you're gonna slowly, slowly move to the, to the red building, to the big red. If you spawn within the area of big red, come over here, aim towards here or towards here, and within two minutes, someone is gonna show up. You pop them in the head. You just eliminated, eliminated from the three. Now you are two. Congratulations! If you spawn down here, come over here and try to snipe this guy. If he comes over here to loot, if you do, congratulations! Is you and you, okay? If you don't see him over here, that means this guy is going to fight the red. So, wait. Listen to the fight. It's gonna be elimination. You're gonna be the second team. You're gonna fight it or you're gonna wait it. Congratulations. You are the winner. You know what the hell is going on. Don't pick this hole because usually people, people, people know. Um, I'd rather take the, the long journey and uh, if I don't see anyone over here, take the journey, come to the uh, train rails and make this my biatch. Right? Remember this. Let me be a little bit more specific. Three groups on the crossroad side. You hear kaboom, kaboom. You know 100% someone died. So it's you and the other team. When you hear the kaboom, kaboom, you take your ass over here to the, to the rails and you wait for them to finish with the big red so you can take all of their loot. Usually that's the little beefy one. So be a little bit cautious. Use your audio wait for them to come out and kaboom kaboom them if you are too scared it's okay take off leave leave them there let them whatever happen um i think that pretty much covers 
uh, at least the majority of the of the theory. Um, let's go roughly. I know I'm gonna repeat a little bit. So we have the three, three, and one. That's the beginning. The expectations is to have one team over here left, one still around the mountains, and one still over here, leaving three teams overall in the map still alive. Um, obviously, we have the people that uh, they don't give a damn and they spawn over here, run to the to this, run to this, and you have one elimination, leaving two teams here. Again, you end up with one team, this with one team. So in theory, around the middle of the of the game is going to be only three survivors. And if you manage to survive till the middle of the game, congratulations. That is the most important time to be very quiet, loot and listen. Because you know, 100% in the middle of the map, in all of this area, there is three groups that they have to cross each other. So if you play the smart one and you you take it slow, you take it more safe, you let the other two fight because uh, pretty much they're gonna find each other. If you hear gunshots in the middle of the game, if in the middle of the round, almost by the end of the raid, uh, you know that it's you and whoever is gonna win that one. So let them fight it, let them live, and you pass free money, thank you very much, and even you loot the bodies that they killed because how much they can they can gather you know that's the idea hopefully that was helpful it gave you some insight and a theory i want you to jump into the game all right go back into the video listen to it very careful listen to the audio the gunshots and depending on the gunshots you follow the appropriate uh, uh, movements um i can go way more deeper into this video i can actually jump into the game on every single spawn point and show you in game at the spawn points of each one location what to expect and how long should i wait over there just to give you even better idea at least give you get your food um one step further at least when you spawn if we get the spawning correctly so you don't insta die or you don't do the worst movements ever and you you are one of the two people that you're gonna fight and one is gonna be eliminated and you're gonna be the one that is gonna go through and you don't care if you if you kill any scuffs or not you just want to survive we can go through all of the yeah, all of that in a, in a different video so please let me know whenever i get some time i will do it if you actually want you can influence me and you can push me and tell me blue we want the video spawn on every single location and show us what to expect where to loot what to loot and where to look okay i can show you all of the routes of every single spawn and tell you exactly what to expect okay that's how i make my money dude i make 150k to 250k and guess what i don't even go to the dorms how the hell do i make that much money ask me i make another one i appreciate you being around thank you sorry i don't want to keep you more Thank you for listening. Um, join my Twitch. I see only blue. Watch me playing customs. I will prove you my point, okay? Love you all. If you have any questions, I'm over there almost every single day. Uh, 10, 12, 14. I don't care what, what, how many hours I'm streaming. And hopefully I see you over there. Um, see you around. Bye.